What's up everybody? So today I want to share some tips with you on how you can go out there and create your own market. And this needs to be really the strategy in 2023 as we do have this slowing market and this interest rate situation and we really don't know how everything's going to go. We know that it's going to be just fine. However, I want you to go out there and really take it back to the basics here and go out and create your own market, your own ecosystem, if you will. So first I'm gonna talk about investors and how you need to build your list of investors that are ready to buy investment properties in your market and go out there and secure the seller of those deals. That way you get on both sides. The second thing I wanna talk about is how you can go out there and create more inventory around your listings. And the third thing I wanna dive into is social media. Every single one of you should be crushing it on social media. And I'm not talking about necessarily, you know, you, you, you're in the videos necessarily, that would be best, but it doesn't matter. A lot of people are like, I don't wanna do video and all this stuff, don't do video, but do social media. And as a bonus, let's talk about what we need to be doing with the buyers right now. So before I get into these three ways to create your own market in 2023, just do me a favor and click the subscribe button, hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and make sure to click the link below to register for my 2023 business planning sessions. It's gonna be December 9th at 5 p.m. Eastern, and I'm looking forward to helping you customize a game plan for you moving into the new year. Okay guys, let's get started here. Let's create a list of investors that wanna buy properties in your market. Here's the strategy right here, super simple. Every single person that you talk to, every prospect, whether it be a Zillow lead, a Facebook, a Circle Prospecting, Inspire, wherever you got the lead, sphere of influence, networking, open houses, I don't care. Wherever you got the lead, I want you to add this one question at the end of the conversation. Have a normal conversation like you always have with every single prospect anyway. But at the end of that conversation, I want you to just add this one little thing. I want you to say, hey, listen, before I let you go, let me ask you this. If I had a screaming deal on a rental property, would you be interested? You're there anyway. Why not ask that question? Because if they say yes, now you can go down that road. What's your criteria? What do you like? Single family, duplex, fourplex, commercial, warehouse, multifamily, apartments. What do you like? Really go deep with the criteria and take notes and stack that list of investors. Now you have a hit list, ladies and gentlemen. You go out there and, and target that criteria, target those sellers that own the exact type of property that these buyers told you that they would be interested in. Reach out to those sellers, say, hey, I got a buyer. Because you legitimately have a buyer. Hit them with mail, do my handwritten letter technique. Handwrite the envelope, handwrite one question. Dear Mr. and Mrs. So-and-so, would you consider selling your property at address to a prospect of mine? Sincerely, sign your name, put a business card in there, throw it in the mail. 90% chance they're gonna open it. It's a handwritten envelope. Hit them with everything you got. Social media, handwritten letters, phone calls. When you run into a seller that wants to take you up on the offer, great. Set an appointment, go see them. Go see why they might wanna sell. Check out the property, take some pictures. Let them know what you can sell it for on the market if you listed it. Say, listen, let me go back to my investor, see what he's willing to offer. I'll bring you an offer and we'll go from there. You come back with the offer, whatever it is, that he's got options. He's got the offer from your investor or they can put it on the market like regular. Guys, this creates the conversation. This creates something out of nothing. A lot of you are sitting around doing nothing. I'm saying, let's create something out of nothing. You're talking to prospects and these prospects are just going dark on you, ghost on you, they're just dead. Take this question and read ignite the situation. So get out there and take advantage of what I just shared with you and stack that investor list to 20, 30 investors that you're sitting here working for trying to find properties for. Your job is to go out there and connect buyers and sellers. Most of us are just finding a seller, waiting on another agent to bring us the buyer. Finding a buyer, waiting on another agent to bring us the seller. Why not just go out there and connect the buyers and the sellers, do all the deals yourself, be on both sides of it and control the whole thing. Why not? And then you can just use MLS as a backup plan. The second thing is, is building more inventory around your listings. And even if it's somebody else's listing, right? I want you to circle prospect and handwritten notes to the entire subdivision or the condo complex or the street or whatever, the houses and properties around whatever the listing is. I want you to contact these people, create your own market. And guess what? At the end of those conversations, what are we gonna do? We're gonna ask them, hey, before you go, real quick, let me ask you this. If I had a screaming hot deal on a rental property, would you be interested? Sit back and listen, see what they say. It's gonna be exciting because you're gonna stack that list of investors. 
So that's the second thing. I want you to take properties that you have listed or if other agents have listed, if you don't have any listings, all right, don't make that an excuse. Get out there. Get out there, call those property owners, create your own market. The third thing is social media, and this is something that, hey, it's free, and a lot of people are just not doing it. And it's just like making the calls. You know, you can get property owners' phone numbers for two cents, less than two cents a piece, and call them and create those relationships. Nobody's hardly even doing that. My question is, what are you doing? Well, I'm working my spear, I'm working buyers from last year, I'm working networking, I'm, I'm going to do an open house, and all that's great. It is great, don't get me wrong, but it's not gasoline. You need gasoline, you need massive growth. And there's never gonna be massive growth until you have volume. Quality's great, you gotta give quality, but where are you gonna find the balance between quality and quantity? You need a massive amount of clients, guys. And until you wrap your head around that and go get them, you're never gonna see that massive growth that you actually want, that you say you want. With social media, you should be posting at least once a day. I'm posting four to five times a day on Instagram. I'm posting five, six times a week on YouTube. I'm posting multiple, you know, Facebook, podcast every day. I'm posting everywhere. I'm in a different business than you are, but the same goes for real estate, right? And I'm, I'm saying, I post five times a day on Instagram, you should be posting at least once. That's all I'm saying, just post once a day. Now with the post, here's what's happening. You're posting and then you're just saying, oh, nothing's happening because you're not engaging with anyone. So here's where you create your own ecosystem within social media, within your profile there, is you engaging. You gotta go out there and like people's stories, comment on people's stories, like people's posts, comment on people's posts, DM people, see how they're doing, right? Search your area, follow people in your area. You gotta get out there and, and spend a little time on social being intentional about trying to connect. It's a social media platform, it's, okay? It's meant for human connection. So unless you're using it in that manner, if you're just posting and hoping, then nothing's gonna happen there. So the third thing is, guys, please be more intentional with your social media. Have a game plan and treat it like a job. And a little bonus tip for your buyers, the buyers that can't afford houses and all that stuff, listen, get them pre-approved for the highest amount possible and then go out there and make offers on properties that are priced higher that have been sitting there on the market for 60, 90, 120 days. This market is just as hard as last year. You're gonna have to make offers on several houses before you get one, same as last year. Um, you just got to go out there and put in the work. So that's it for today. Comment below and let me know what your favorite tip was in today's video. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Let's go.